I think the message from the um, Politburo has been very clear that they want to arrest the decline in housing prices and they want to see house price recovery. So I reckon that will be what the mission objective for the Ministry of uh, Housing coming into the briefing tomorrow. And at the same time, I think what is also important is that we, we are looking at not just quantum, right? We are looking at the speed of all these communications that's happening. And it is indeed what I think the markets are expecting. And so the quantum with regards to the Ministry of Housing, I think we are definitely have already seen some of the support coming through via the PBOC in terms of mortgage lending cuts, in terms of uh, better incentives for new homeowners. So, and we are seeing some anecdotal signs that activities of uh, home sales have been picking up during the golden week. So this is really riding on that momentum and that is crucial because I think investors have been expecting and then disappointed somewhat uh, with the NDRC briefing and then the Ministry of Finance not really announcing a huge style stimulus. So I think the, a lot of um, the owners are probably on either the Ministry of Housing and at the same time um, also the NPC decisions and, and meetings later on this month. So a lot at stakes here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chrissy, when you talk to uh, investors and clients uh, and also you know within your team your peer group what's the sense in terms of how investor confidence is shaping up for China has it changed because obviously yes there was a point in time where people were questioning whether China was investable or not then you move to a more neutral zone saying you know it's uh, uh, you know sifting through ideas and some pockets look interesting some pockets don't look that interesting where are we headed as far as investor interest in the region is concerned? That's a great question because at this point in time, we are not yet seeing the huge shift, I think, in investor sentiment. The, the key point here is that the direction of travel, though, is heading in the right way. And I think that will pave the way. So what we need is probably time. And as I mentioned earlier, the preconditions for investors' confidence to, be, um, to come back is essentially the quantum and the speed of all the me measures that's coming up. And um, I think investors are also looking at like, you know, in, uh, there are a lot of uncertainties, right? That is not just within China, but also external. We're looking at three weeks before the US elections taking place. And so in order for all the investors to, or most of the investors to feel comfortable uh, actually putting, you know, um, more of a revising or re-rating Chinese equities, Chinese assets, we need to see these plans translated into some, some form of actions. Mm 